Hey y'all, what's going on? I'm here for Black Ink Crew New York Season 5, Episode 16. I apologize once again for all of my videos this week being like two days late instead of, you know, like the day after like I normally do. Once again, it's just been a lot going on, but I'm trying to, you know, get back into the swing of things, trying to get back on track or whatever. So, I do apologize. Um, We're going, you know, hopefully get it right um, next week or whatever. But, um, anyways, we start the episode off with... um. Once at 125th, Kit, she comes in, you know, she's, um, she's still ignoring C's or whatever. She says hey to everybody else but him. You know, he's trying to flirt with her or whatever, talking about how she, pretty she looks and everything. And then he gonna sit here and tell my son, you know, you know, it's sexy when you mad or whatever. And I'm just like, nigga, didn't you already say this shit to her? But, you know, next thing you know, he has like three people, you know, coming in with flowers for her back to back to back or whatever so um she asked to talk to him and everything and now she's kind of getting suckered in a little bit yet again you know what i'm saying and he claims that the whole allison situation is over their brother off as friends and you know um she kind of sort of accepts his apology but not all the way yet but we of course we know she is anyways uh we have oh shit nikki lost the baby um I just, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't want to not be, like, empathetic towards the situation because it is hard, you know, when anybody loses a baby. I mean, if this shit is even true, I mean, it's just kind of like, I mean, I'm sorry. I do believe the girl that came from California, you know, last week or whatever. I, do, I, I believe her. I'm sorry. I do believe her. I do believe that she had another child or whatever and she abandoned and, you know, and then on top of that with her seven year old you know what i'm saying she just you know just decided to go cross country with uh old shit's ass you know what i'm saying and just leaving them both hanging like that you know what i mean so i'm sorry i do believe this girl i do now i mean you know if she was pregnant and everything is like girl you send the peer you know you got lupus and on top of that you're fighting this girl knowing you pregnant and everything which they which like i said to y'all once again there's another reason that makes me believe the girl you feel what i'm saying and i don't believe this bitch gonna come all the way from cross country all the way from the west coast to the east coast to motherfucking line and I, and I don't think uh vh1 if they paid her anything you know what i'm saying they ain't pay her that motherfucking much to come all the way over there to you know spill the tea so you know if it is true you know i i mean regardless of what type of parent that she may be or whatever I do feel bad if you know it's true and everything and I hope nobody is mad at me about my feelings on that but it's just like but anyway so moving on we get um we get back to 113th you know Sky she comes in you know Kevin and um Donna and Bay they're you know already in there talking or whatever and you know um they're happy that she's back and everything. They're all hugging her or whatever. And she tells them that, you know, C's pretty much apologized or whatever. And she was like, you know, I have news, but I can't share it yet. So I'm thinking maybe she's going to hold this shit for a minute. But she ends up telling them, like, right then and there. You know what I'm saying? So, um, she's got them, you know, drooling and shit for this information. So, you know, she tells them that, you know, it's going to be a new shop in Atlanta. And then, to top it off going to be the manager and everything everybody you know kev and um bay they're hyped for her except for donna her right hand man is not hyped for her at all so you know donna is like oh you're pretty excited the ditches or whatever and y'all know i'm getting donna's motherfucking ass because i just i couldn't believe the way she acted this episode you feel what i'm saying and it's like Y'all know I fuck with Donna, but I, I really I really was not liking the way she was acting this episode. And even with Sky and the way she been acting throughout this season or whatever, it's still something in me that kind of fucks with Sky. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, we're going to get to all that. So, you know, Sky is like, I mean, girl, you can always come and visit. Like, what the fuck is the problem? Donna, she all fake happy and shit. And Sky is like, girl, just be happy for me and everything. You know what I'm saying? So Sky, she breaks out into song about her being manager or whatever. You know how Sky just overdoes shit. You know what I'm saying? When she's just hype about something. So, you know, Donna was like, you don't have to be nasty in your delivery or whatever. I was like, where was she being nasty at? She's just excited. You know, she's hyped up. So, like, 
Where was she being nasty at? Like, you really in your motherfucking feelings for no reason. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, um, she's sitting here talking about some of her confessional. I would be happy for Sky. She was acting like a screaming banshee and da 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 and all this other stuff. And, you know, um, she's saying how Sky should be more gracious and all this other stuff. And, you know, Donna's like, I mean, I just thought I had a friend and everything. And Sky's like, what? Like, girl, what the fuck did I do? Like, come and talk to me. Like, like what's really good? You know what I'm saying? Donna sent him some. No, I talk to you later. Sky, like, no, nah, fuck that. We gonna talk right now in this back room here. You won't tell me what the fuck is going on. So, and that's the type of person I am. If I did something to hurt your feelings or whatever, um, let's talk about it. Let's, you know, I mean, we ain't got. I mean, I wouldn't want to talk about it in front of everybody, but if we have it to where we could go into another room or something and talk about it, girl, let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? But, um, anyway, so, especially something as petty as this, you feel what I'm saying? But, anyway, so, you know, um, Sky takes her to the back or whatever. Donna, she starts crying or whatever. And Sky's like, I mean, is this bitch, you know, um, is she pregnant or something? Because, like, what, what the fuck is going on here? You know, Sky apologizes for hurting her feelings. She didn't mean it like that. She just, you know, she's just excited. And so, Donna was like, you know, um... She just thought that she was going to go to Atlanta too and she feels like everyone treats her like a joke and you know she's not she's not a newbie either at this point and everything and she wants to you know be considered um or whatever and she does she, you know she just didn't expect to be at Black Ink as long as she has been or whatever but I'm like but wasn't you begging to come back to this particular shop or whatever in New York or whatever and now like girl what you know what i'm saying so sky apologizes again because she didn't want to hurt her feelings or whatever and i'm not gonna lie like i said i care about people's feelings or whatever so i probably would have did the same thing sky did now other motherfuckers probably would have been like bitch please okay but anyway so moving on from that we get bay and donna real quick and i'm gonna get more into donna's ass later on but anyways we get bay and donna they're at, you know, this pet shop or whatever for Bay because Bay has been having men troubles and she thinks that a puppy is going to help her or whatever. But Bay changed her mind real quick when they was like that the dogs is between two $2,000 to $4,000. I was even like, oh, hell no. Like, this dog, these dogs better be able to do motherfucking tricks on they own from the jump street without me having to cheat them, um, teach them and some more motherfucking shit like girl what they better be able to potty train their motherfucking selves in the whole <clears throat> i wish i would pay that much for a damn dog but anyway so like i said bay end ends up changing her mind about the whole dog thing so then we get um shit and c's real quick you know c's goes in to check up on him because he hasn't really heard from um shit or whatever shit is telling him about nikki and everything and the miscarriage you know sees is really concerned and he was like you know you gotta make sure she's all right because it's different with men and women you know what i'm saying with situations like this happen or whatever so you gotta make sure she's really all right and he was like you know is there anything i could do to help and you know shit tells him like you know just send some edible arrangements or whatever and you know he's like you know sees like she's still mad at me huh and shit was like i mean not really mad and and seems like yeah she's still mad at me don't beat around the bush or whatever so anyways um <laughs> we get sky she goes to like some executive office or whatever present her workout dvd and um you know she's showing them and everything and the move the different type of moves that she had like the first move that she was showing them in the dvd was like pussy pinching or some shit like that and some of the other moves that she was doing i mean it was just hilarious and like she was as she as the video was playing she was actually showing them in person how to do some of the moves or whatever they're not you know the the video is over with they're not clapping she's trying to get them to like hey i'm delay i'm delay you know what i'm saying they're not clapping or nothing like that um they're not really impressed and you know um they're like is this all this video consists of is like you know vagina or whatever and she was like you know um she was like how do you want your lady's vagina to look and everything and they're just quiet and confused or whatever and they feel like it's something they're not interested in or whatever and she props her both of her legs up on the table and it's like you know oh so um are y'all scared of vagina or whatever you know what i'm saying she's like i feel like y'all really hating right now da, 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 da. and you know she leaves or whatever because she knows that they're not feeling it and everything and of course they try to give the whole you know well 
um, we glad you came type of speech, whatever, whatever. And she was like, you know what? I was just, te you know, testing y'all out or whatever. I already got a position in Atlanta as a manager at um, Black Ink. So, yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> so, anyways, we're at 113th or whatever. Back at 113th, Donna has a um, client. And, you know, um, Mel, she comes in to kind of check in on Donna or whatever. Checking on the tattoo because Donna is still a rookie at this shit. She's not on the level of Bay or Mel or even like, you know, oh shit. And, well, I know sees his tattoos ain't the best either even though he's the owner but y'all get what i'm saying here so you know mel she was like you know can i just fix something or whatever donna is pissed off and she feels like mel is being rude or whatever and cr crushed her dreams no mel is trying to help you the fuck out sweetheart okay like she's trying to make sure that you know nobody has any complaints when they leave that motherfucking shop okay like girl she pissed me. And it's like, you are still new to this shit. Like, come the fuck on, Donna. Like, you should be grateful. Like, she's doing the shit that Duchess was supposed to be doing for your ass, which was to oversee your motherfucking tattoos. You feel what I'm saying? But, anyway, so we get Kit and C's. They're at her apartment or whatever. She answers the door in lingerie or whatever. She wants him to chug on his champagne and everything and she brings back some grapes for them to eat and he's suspicious and he's like wait a minute why does she want me to chug on this motherfucking wine and he's like i mean if you won't kill me doing now because i didn't watch enough episodes of snap and you know kit is like see this is what you supposed to do with your man or whatever i was like yo man see i mean i mean girl y'all having fun but i don't know if he your man but anyway so she was like you supposed to you know um have it to where the, you know you keep them guessing as to whether you're going to kill them i mean keep them guessing um of what you're going to do next or either you know have him afraid for his life or whatever so he asks you know is this your way of telling me you forgive me or whatever and pretty much she forgives him like we all knew or whatever you know what i'm saying so anyways i guess seas does have a charm about him with these women i don't know what it is but you know i mean whatever so then we get mail real quick with you know her dude or whatever y'all know i can't never remember the dude's name and i know the name is probably easy as fuck but i just never remember his name she goes to his shop or whatever you know he's asking about you know the deal like what's the progression of her being manager and everything and um, you know, she's kind of been dodging this conversation because of the last conversation they have. But apparently he's supportive now and he just wants peace. And they get matching tattoos or whatever of like some bananas or some shit that represent they love or whatever. But uh, anyways, so we're back at 113th. Um, sees he comes through to check in on them because he, you know, haven't been there in a minute. Donna, she's like, you know, she's acting real funny or whatever. She's like, you know, congratulations on your new shop in Atlanta or whatever. You know, it's banging around this time of the year. And, you know, Kevin lets him know, like, sky spill the beans. And, you know, she's like, what the fuck? I ain't even, you know, sign no lease down there yet. And Sky already running her motherfucking mouth. What do I got to do? Put duct tape on her ass? So, you know, um, C starts to explain why he was bringing Sky down there. And then Donna comes out and says, you know, because you've been fucking Allison. And he like, say what? And she repeats what she says or whatever. She also brings up, you know, Kit and how he fucked her. And now she's brand ambassador or whatever. And Donna is like, what do Sky, um, Duchess, and um, Kit all have in common? You know, C's get his rocks off and their careers soar. I was like, are you trying to imply here that, um, that Sky fucked C's? Because that's what I got when she had said that shit. When she's saying what all three of them have in common. So I'm just, I mean, I don't know. But maybe she was just saying because of the fact that um, C's fucked Allison. I don't know. But anyways, so you know, and you know, Allison is Sky's best friend. So anyways, you know, Donna is like, you know, maybe I should fuck you too or whatever this and third. Maybe, th maybe then we'll have a talk about moving to Atlanta. Donna, see, I tried to feel bad for Donna at first and the way they be treating her or whatever. But it's like, girl, some of this shit you bring on your motherfucking self or whatever. You're like, you're like really, girl? You gonna cut, like... That's why they don't respect you now 
because you're willing to fuck your way to the top. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, granted, yeah, Duchess probably did the same thing, but she was in a relationship with the motherfucker, okay? But, girl, you just... Like, girl, really? So, anyways, you know, um... Seas is like, I mean, you know, Sky put in the work. So, what you trying to say, you know, um... She didn't or whatever. And Donna was like, I mean, Sky arranged it and everything. And, you know, so she, he's like, so you saying Sky don't deserve it. So, Donna straight up says yes or whatever. And I said, ooh. Now, granted, maybe Sky don't deserve the shit or whatever. Well... She probably doesn't deserve the shit. Y'all know I've been saying all season, you know, Sky, you know, and the way she acts or whatever. She, which is the reason why she's not the manager at 113th. But I've heard that she's the man, that she really is the manager at the shop that he got down there in Atlanta. And despite the fact of how I've been feeling about Sky this season, I hope she does well with that shop. You feel what I'm saying? But it's like, girl, this supposed to be your home girl and everything. And you talking all this cash money shit behind her back or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, you know, C's is like, you're not going to say that shit to her face or whatever. And C's is like, I mean, you acting like I'm just supposed to give you something. So, I mean, I mean, what's really good? And Donna was like, I mean, I just want you, uh, want a spot at your shop or whatever. And he was like, and you deserve to go to Atlanta? And she like, yeah. Now, my thing is, Donna, I don't know what the fuck more you have done than Sky that makes you feel like you deserve um, just as much or if not more than she do. Like, girl, what? You know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, seems like you shouldn't worry about who I'm fucking or whatever. And then Donna going to sit up here talking about something. You just mad because your breath smell like doo-doo. gonna lie i mean i know c's got his you know veneers and everything his new you know grill in his mouth and shit but I, he do look like his you know he, like his breath might have a tart kind of scent to it but i mean i don't know i don't know but anyways he like girl what like as easily as i you know rehired her i could fire her the fuck again okay so he leaves before it gets ugly and in the way i kind of commend like i told y'all c's don't pop off even though i felt like he had a right to really pop off in that particular situation but he's not so quick to pop off anymore like he you know used to do but anyways so later on um at the shop at 113 for whatever ted is finally back after being missing for however long he's been missing you know they still up here talking about you know dildos and shit and how donna put a hot sauce bottle inside herself to get pleasure and i was just like girl what i said see that's part of the reason why her vagina stretched out now i was just girl child i was holding myself like my vagina started hurting when she said i was like hmm girl no <laughs> okay but anyway so you know um walt walt he's like you know yeah girl we heard about the crazy shit that you done said the seeds and everything and she starts laughing and was like yeah i said his breath smell like doo-doo and everything Bay told him about the shit or whatever so anyways you know um donna is sitting up here saying how she wants to go to atlanta too or whatever or whatever you know whatever whatever and how she'll ride somebody's face to do it and, or you know and whatnot so sky and c's they come in together or whatever you know, Ted, he tells them what was said. He was like, yeah, Donna doesn't have a problem sitting on faces and shit to make her way up to the top or whatever. And see, he like, all right, let's talk about this shit. You know, let's get this shit straight. So he was like, you know, um, I'm going to be opening up a shop in Atlanta. Sky's going to be running it, you know. Um, and C's pretty much told Sky um, what the fuck Donna had said and everything. Sky's like, you know, I heard about the comments that you made about C's fucking Allison. And Sky's like, so bitch, you know, is that what you think? You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Donna, this is where in James Caldwell voice, she backpedaling and pussy popping. Because now she all on hush mode and she just don't want to directly say, yeah, bitch. I, like, she all quiet and shit. So Sky's like, you know, um... Like, you really knocking me as a friend and everything or whatever and trying to say I don't, I don't deserve this position. And Donna is like, you know, um, that's not how, um, that's not how I was coming. But if you want to take it like that or whatever, this, that, and the third, um... She was like, if you want to take it like that, but that's now not how I said it. Bitch, yes the fuck it is. Like, get the fuck out of here. So, you know, um... 
Sky is like, I know exactly how the fuck you said it. Like, um, it's because C's fuck Allison is why Sky got the position and everything. And you know, um, Donna is like, it's not even about you, Sky, whatever. And you know, um, uh, Sky is like, I mean, you being real jelly right now, or whatever. You know, do you feel like I shouldn't be the manager? Donna backpedaling and pussy popping again, talking about some. Um, I'm pleading the fifth on that one. Girl, what? So Sky, she starts popping off. And this is probably the first time this season I wholeheartedly, not partially, or completely disagree. I wholeheartedly agree with Sky popping off on Donna. Okay? Because it's like, like she said, bitch, I snuck you back up in this motherfucker, okay? And I convinced Seas to hide your ass back. And then on top of that, um, Donna, she let you sleep on her motherfucking couch when you ain't have a pot to piss the fuck out of. So what the, what the fuck are you really talking about here? You know what I'm saying? Sky is like Donna is dead to her or whatever. And you know, um, she's sitting up here saying that she sees Sky. You know, Donna's sitting up here saying that she sees Sky's true colors. No, I, I think she sees your true colors. Because you really sitting up here looking like a jealous ass bitch right now. And I hope you watch this shit back and, and look and say, damn. I do look foolish right now. But I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, girl, what? Like, really, she, she was sitting up here saying that, pretty much trying to say that Sky is only nice to her when it's beneficial to her and everything. Like, girl, you act like as if you can't go see Sky when she moves to Atlanta and everything. Like, like I said, Donna, you put yourself in some of these predicaments to get clowned on and to not be taken seriously when you constantly sitting up here talking about fucking your boss or whatever and this, that, and third. Like, come the fuck on. Come the fuck on, Donna. Like, girl... I'm already hot. I'm sweating. She done pissed me off with that bullshit right there. Um... Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys come back. It definitely give me y'all thoughts on that whole Donna and Sky situation. Um, follow me on social media and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.